Yo, what is up, YouTube? Sharp here, bringing you guys a gameplay from the Call of the Community tournament. Uh, it's a charity tournament ran by Aviator, and basically, yeah, like, I mean, like I said, it's a charity tournament, and all the money from it goes to a uh, charity, which this one, I don't know the name of the charity off the top of my head, but it's for bringing water, clean water, to people around the world. Uh, I don't know the name of the charity, like I said, but, so... If you guys don't know what this is, this is the second one that was held, Call of Community 2, and how that basically how it is is they bring one big YouTuber in uh, to to be the captain of 16 teams. Well, I, I guess you can say they, they bring 16 big YouTubers in, and they are the captains of their teams, and then they pick other YouTubers amongst a list that are signed up to want to play, and then they get randomly assigned a pro player uh, so I'm playing in this because I am a pro player obviously and I got randomly assigned to this team uh, the captain of our team is Mr. Phantasmo or Grandma Mildred and on our team we have TF141 Ghost I actually teamed with him and he was the alternate on my team in the first one um, which I'll talk about later and then uh, other people on my team is Drifter which is funny because me and him actually just got done doing a video uh, if you guys didn't catch that, it's on Machinima. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, he he does a video called a series called Noob vs Pro, where he uses his dogs on a green screen and like they they pop up in the gameplay. And so I actually got to play one of the voices of the dogs on the video. Uh, so it was it was really fun doing that with him. So I'll put a link up in the description uh, where you guys can find that video. And then we had we actually had an Australian player on our team. But he he didn't play. He was our alternate. He um, plus he was in red bar the whole time. Uh, if you guys know Champ Chong, uh, he's a good dude. He was fun. I played pubs with him, and I, I told him that I'd never really played with an Australian person before. Uh, besides back when Fear had an Australian team, and he said he actually knew some of them. So it was pretty cool playing with him. And then uh, Nuck uh we played with him. So the, the it was a five people. There's a 5 on 5, and so the people playing for our team in this video are Ghost, Nuckfuggets, Mr. Phantasmo, me, and Drifter. So this is CTF, and we're playing against, uh, the pro player on the other team is Breezy, and on his team he has Temper, um, God, oh, Steve Schwint, I teamed with him in the first one, and then... Uh, God, I, I don't even know who was on his team. He, he had a bunch of snipers. They actually originally started out on the first match sniping. And I think, had like, halfway through this, or not halfway, but a little bit, a little ways through this, they all brought out real guns. Uh, but they were actually sniping on the first side. Uh, you see right there, Optic Jambi. Uh, so yeah, they, they really, all they had was a bunch of snipers on their team. So, this probably isn't what you guys are used to seeing, like one of the best gameplays that you guys are used to seeing, but... Uh, I just wanted to post up a game talking about this as I like smack my mic trying to scratch my face. Uh, just talking about the call of the community and thanking you guys, all of you guys that donated. Uh, I'm not sure how much money they have raised. I'm pretty sure it's over $10,000, which is huge. Not including uh, the money from the sponsorships or the money from the live stream or you know any of that stuff. So... As far as I know, right now as I'm doing this commentary, I don't even think it's over right now. I think the finals are going on. But I think they have raised at least $10,000, most likely more. Uh, so I just wanted to give a shout out to you guys for all the ones who donated. Um, and to all the ones that participated in this, all the YouTubers and all the pros. Uh, good games to everyone, if you guys even want to watch my video. Good games to everyone that we played. And... Uh, my team name is actually called the Japanese Butt Gerbils. Apparently it's something from um, South Park. I don't know. I don't really watch South Park. But a Japanese Butt Gerbil was our team name. So we came into this. We scrimmed against T-Martin's team uh, at the very beginning. You know, Prior to playing this at 3 p.m., we played them around 1 o'clock. And they have Skump on their team as their pro. is like Skump, T-Martin. Uh, the Market J, Ronaldinho, uh, just they pretty much had a powerhouse stack team. I think they're in the finals. I'm pretty sure I'm picking them to win the whole thing. Uh, they were 
you know, like, like I said, they're a pretty stacked team. They're pretty good. So I'm predicting them to win. Um, you know, Skump, amazing player. T Mark, he's actually on the Envious GB team. He's a really good player. Mark and Jay is pretty good. Uh, all those players. Ronaldinho actually was going off against them. That, that's the team we actually lost to. We actually played against them and lost. Uh, but like I said, this isn't one of the, one of my usual game plays. Uh, it's a little bit better. It's better than a pub. I mean, I do post pub game plays. You guys might like watching that. It's better than a pub. Uh, and mainly r the reason why I want to post it, like I said, is to thank you guys. And because I did drop 42 kills in this game. Uh, I actually have, when we played against Hastro's team on Dome CTF, I dropped uh, over 40 kills. But his whole team was sniping the whole time. I think... I think towards the end, he was on a sniping team as well. I think towards the end, he his team switched out and quit sniping. He was on a team with like Grizz. Uh, it was Grizz, Hastro, uh, who is Small Beans. He was on their team. Just a bunch of snipers. Zerka. All these people who are you know, known for sniping. So, you know, it was fun to play against them. It was a fun tournament. Big thanks to Aviator for putting it on. I think... He, he was talking about it in the live stream. I think they're planning on doing another one. Uh, it'll probably be over the summer. But these are fun. You know, they're fun for the viewers, fun for the players. Just a big, fun tournament. And right now, I, I guess I could give you guys kind of like a, a breakdown type thing. Uh, well, it's kind of 5v5. Five, five five, and we're not really running on any strategy here as we would with my normal team. So right now, you know, I'm just trying to hold down the flag. Uh, I picked up two kills and then... Mr. Phantasma was able to help me with that last one. Getting the flag return. Now, like I always say on this map, you want to hold. You never want to push through the stairs. They're not. I, I wouldn't say never on the right stairs, but the majority of the time you want to try to hold mid-map. Uh, and if you're going to have someone up top, have them up top glass area. Don't have them up top uh, over by the escalators or over by the construction. Uh, so the two spawns right here are either going to be back green or over there by the back toll booth, I consider that back green, or inside construction stairs. Uh, those are the only two spawn points that they're going to get. They're either going to break off up top, or go through green, or come on their flag. So there's only three ways I can go. Uh, really, this game is a pretty easy game if you can break it down to a science and, and you know, know where, where your players are going. I see this game as kind of like a game of checkers or a game of chess. Uh, you mainly just have to stay you know, a couple steps ahead of the people you're playing. Uh, obviously right there, I shouldn't, have jumped, I shouldn't have done that. I knew he'd be laying there. I shouldn't have jumped out. I guess I was just looking for kills. Uh, but normally I don't think I would jump out like that. So right now I'm going down low. You never want to push up top in this situation. Just because you would never be able to cut the flag off. Even though I didn't cut the flag off. Uh, if you go up top, you wouldn't be able to get him. Just because he would already push through the bottom. And most likely they have someone sitting up there in a head glitch and he'd probably kill you. So I never recommend running up top. Now right now, you know, my whole team is dead. Uh, there's no way if I went downstairs, you know, down those escalators that I was going to get it. Uh, but then I noticed that the flag was, you know, I, I noticed the flag was out. So I couldn't, I wasn't able to stop the guy from the return. Uh, I probably should have just stayed up top and tried to help map control. But I did push down and get a two-piece. My teammates pushed up, killed the rest of them. And now kind of got juked by Breezy there. Uh, you know, I called out. They were going to be spawning up top and running up there, which they all did. Uh, but we weren't able to get the flag cap. And I'm not sure what we're winning by right now. I think we won 4-0 on the first side. This is a pretty good shot I can on this guy right here. Picking him out of the head spot. Right. Bing. So, yeah. CTF. I'm gonna, uh, By the way, if you guys haven't noticed, I changed my name to Envy. Um, I'm on Envious. So, like I said, you guys can expect to see some eye games from me. Uh, I'm going to be posting up some envious gameplay on my channel. Gameplay for my team. You guys will see some of that. Uh, also, like I said, I think I said this in my last video, but I have that. I have a 40 bomb from a tournament that I played in with Dito and Fearless. Or, or not Fearless. It was Dito, Vert, and Swags. Oh, I got a clutch right here. It's like a montage piece. Get the two piece. Jump over here. Get the three piece. And then why not get the four piece? Get that big old quad. So, yeah, I'm going to be uploading some gameplay to my channel. Uh, I just haven't really been playing COD that much. Um, you know, we're kind of treating the off-season like an off-season. We're not really practicing too much. Uh, if there are events, then they will probably most likely be in, uh, like, 
two two months or so. So there's really no reason to practice. I know that sounds ridiculous that you know two months away there's an event and we're not practicing, but we're just kind of taking a break, taking it easy. Uh, but we'll get on the grind right around event time. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, I'm gonna get back on my regular posting, regular gameplay grind. Uh, I'll continue with the Moab challenge. Uh, if you guys want to see the game against Hestro and Zerka and all them and Grizz where I dropped another 40 bomb, then uh, just leave me a comment and let me know if you guys think I should post that up. Or if you guys think this is boring and you don't want to see this anymore, then just be like Sharp, we hate you, and never post this again. So, please give this video a like and a favorite as always, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And this is Sharp, I'm out, peace.